There's about 15 cows that have wandered out of the shed. Just feeding away, looking at the calves, how they're getting on. Oh, that's a funny looking calf. You love to see it, they're all charging about it this morning. Good morning, couple feeders to fill and then I'm done with the cows. And then we're getting plowing, Kev is spreading fat, he is getting on well. Sunday today and it's to be pretty heavy rain Tuesday morning so we'll just power on. I'm actually really happy with how these bunkers have turned out. I was unsure at the start and wasn't working amazingly, but the silage works a lot better than the straw for some reason. I think because it's very bound up, it's very tight, the cows reach back to about here and whatever they can grab here, it just pulls the rest of it forward. It actually self cleans really well. And then if there is a wee dribble left when you're pushing these bales in, it just squeezes it all up to the end and the cows can get most of it from that end. It was pretty empty, so they're all piling in this morning. A few people commented saying it was a stupid design because not all the cows can get their heads in, but they're on ad-lib silage all the time. The feeder takes probably nine cows. What's that? One, two, seven, eight, right? It's eight in it just now. Nine if they're squeezing, so there's eight. My biggest pen right now is 33, but once it's all kind of set up, 28 will probably be the max in these two pens. 28, 30% of the cows can get their heads in at any one time and they're ad libs so they're not standing here 24 hours a day. So far it's not been an issue. Another one, heifer, 1065 is the cow, 25th of February at 10 a.m. Uh, right home, I'm going plowing. Which machine, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a ticker by the toe. If it's good, let it go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That was an obvious choice. There's a couple of swans and a dog. We're on the Lemkin mole boards. This boy's taking it fairly low. It's still too wet, I'm not getting anywhere. <sighs> still could do with a couple days yet. You can see that whole patch and basically all this ground here it doesn't dry up going that way. If it was just a wee patch, just make a mess and get on with it but it just keeps going weird it's at the top of a bray right like down in the hollow there no problem one unsuccessful trip plowing roll out roll out we're shifting from yard four to yard one kev's done all the wheat here the wheat that was after osr so it's not plowed ground so it's holding up quite well yard one kev's away up to that field i've just come out here to see how the Tulips and daffodils are all doing. Buds are starting to come. They're doing fine. So that these are the ones we put in two years ago, coming through again, which is good to see. Still pretty thick. Didn't know what they would come like. Never done it before. And then that's the new ones that hopefully will be coming through as well. Yes, they are. Belter. There is quite a range of varieties in here, so they all do flower and progress at different stages. But there's some beds that are. Right thick, those ones. Whereas you go left to the next bed and they're just starting to come through. So different varieties are just performing slightly differently. Which is fine, it's pick your own. So the longer, the longer there is flowers flowering for the better. Good morning, newly born calf and this cow is fairly down. Mm, God. Just wanna check if twins, I'm pretty sure she hasn't. It was just a big calf for her to push out. There's another one just starting to calf. That cow there, the one in front of her. I'm just gonna get out the road so she can calf. I'm happy with that cow and calf. That cow's just getting going now. Getting heaving and hoeing. She's getting there. A decent sized calf anyway. Oi, you get out of the road. Just needs to get the head out, that would help. Oh, she's wobbly. I'm currently uh, 
hidden behind this wall. So. Oh, good job, Peter. Oh. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Uh. And again, and again. Uh. That's it. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Over the shoulders. Getting a wee breath there. There we go. It's breathing away. Just got the hips to go, but simmies aren't too bad at hips. Not exactly massive back ends on them. There we go. Tuck in, buddy. And you. Nipped along here to yard one. Kev's just bringing the fat spreader out over there. I'm gonna load him up and then we're gonna get shifted to yard three. Bit of hard frost this morning, so we're gonna crack on and get some winter barley spread today. I'm just clearing up bags of fat and I've noticed, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but there is a spider's web with a wee line of fat. There you go, you can see it shining? And that runs from that peak to that peak. How's that possible? How's the spider done that? That is absurd. Livestock trailer. We've got livestock to shift. Three fat cattle away to the abattoir today. Beep, 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 boof. The ground that Kev's on right now. I feel the barley that was ploughed, so it's travelling really well, actually. How are you two? Back in you get it. On you go. On you go, bud. Oi, oi, you! Toe rag. On you go, pal. Oh, Jesus. Right, that calf is up and soaking now. The, the cow it was in a pen with was not letting the cow out of the calf. It was trying to protect it. So shifted them pen. That calf's soaking. This calf's getting its breakfast. Late breakfast, but breakfast nonetheless. Hold it up, Freddie. Hold it up high. Yeah. Is it too powerful for you? Yeah. Right, keep going, keep going. Don't give up, don't give up. That's it, now hold it up. That's it, good boy. She keeps walking backwards. Yeah. She's a good drinker now. Yeah. You don't need to hold her. Hey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold it up, hold it up, quick, put it back in. Hey. You've got milk all over you, Freddy. Mummy's not going to be too happy with me, is she? No. No. Oh well, at least you've got your boiler suit on. That's what it's for. I'll hold the calf so it does move. But you've got a full belly. You check now. Mm. Mm. Full belly. Is it? Is it hard? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Big full belly. Stop it. Stop it. Finally got on top of things, just bedded the bulls. I'm going sort out Kev of fat, and on a calf has popped out. Voila. Angus heifer calf cow is 1013, was it? Lunchtime, 12 o'clock, 1013. It's a lively calf, I'm pretty sure the cow's not twins, but I'll just quickly check. Right, you can come now, Freddy. Right, come on in. Right, you stand in here. You stay in there, you're safe in there. Is the cow coming up? Right, you hold that. Now do I press red button? Right, what we did, what did I say we were going to check? Any more calves. Any more calves, yep. Yeah. Right, Freddie, no more calves. No more calves? No, just one. Right, I've checked her over. Have... No other calf. Does she have no more calves? Yeah, because twins are not normal, Freddy. Normally it's all singles yeah. and you get some twins occasionally. But because we've had so many sets of twins, I'm double checking. I've tagged the calf, spread the navel. This cow can get out now. Want a bit of grub before you go? A bit of grub? On you go then, beast. On you go. Come on, Callie. Follow your mother. 
Right, third time lucky in getting away down to yard three. Yard three bound. To update my calving book with three new calves. Right, I've grabbed the fork left from yard three. Kev's finished spreading at yard three, he's just shifted to yard four. Get it shifted to yard four and keep it moving there. Shifted machines about. Normally it works out fine because Dad just kind of ferries people or machines to places. And Dad's still away. Getting a machine to somewhere is fine, but then getting yourself back. I'm just going to yard three to yard four, which isn't too bad, I'll just walk it. Between yard two, three and four, you can kind of, it's a bit of a trek, a bit of it, but you can kind of walk between those three if needs be. You can't walk to yard one from any of the yards. Oh, this is hot. Righty ho. Kev's getting cracking. Kev's made beautiful progress. Definitely gonna rain tomorrow, definitely gonna rain the next day. So the spreading's done for a while. By the end of today, we'll have all the yard four done, all the yard three done, all the yard two done, and then two fields left, almost two fields left at yard one, which is which equate to 75 acres. So got a massive chunk done in a wee short dry spell. And we've not made much mess, which is cracking. Saying that, the worst fields Kev's gonna go into in about an hour and a half. See how it goes. Let's walk to yard three, load up some cattle, head to Glasgow and back. And fingers crossed there's no calves come out in the meantime. Or if they do, they don't need any help because they're not getting any help. That's the field calves in. Winter barley, patchy winter barley at that. Seed, not making too much of a mess thankfully. It might, might be tricky in about these bits, there's a few wet bits. As long as we don't get a phone call asking for chains, I'm not worried. Cutting across this field will get me. It's a field of wheat after OSR. There you go, there's some stalks left over it. We we'll just give it a disc, disc it twice actually, and sow it. Looking pretty good. That nitrogen will give it a kick as well. Everything we've been spreading over the last few days is sulfur nitrogen. There's two different types of compound just from, we had some from last year and some from this year, but some of it was 21% nitrogen, 36% sulfur, and there's other stuff, 26, 31 much and such the same but nitrogen is responsible for effectively the growth of the plant but sulfur is responsible for the plants being able to uptake the nitrogen so you need to have a good balance of both otherwise you waste the nitrogen that you put on let's see if we can reverse the trailer through a gap right pick out the three biggest I've not got anyone to help me, so I'm going to set up these gates so I can make a separate pen to get three into. Maybe you. You're quite fat, actually. Not you, not you. Maybe you, not you. Not you, not you. Hmm. Dad bought two of these at a market one day. Went for ten, and he sat all day, and he only ended up with two. And they're not very good. He'd happily say that himself. Dad doesn't often buy bad cattle, but these are not great. Narrow and... Poor fat coverage and not ideal. Kind of day you sit all day and try and get going and then you end up getting lured into not so nice cattle. But anyway, we only had two of them, thankfully. To be quite honest, the biggest ones are not quite big enough. Um, they could do with another three, four weeks. But anyway, I've picked out three, getting rid of that one. Big frame, but just hasn't filled it out. That gray one's all right. Brown one at the back's kind of fat. It's not the biggest frame, but it's fat. Went through a lot of beef over Christmas. Well, Christmas orders and all sorts, so we kind of thinned out all the biggest cattle and we're down to cattle that could be just doing with a bit more grub in them. Anyway, they're going. One at a time, one at a time. They look even smaller in the daylight. Go on it, in you go. Apparently there's a cow and a calf wandering about at yard two, so. Back we go, yard two. Bloody hell, how's that happen? There's about 15 cows that have wandered out of the shed. I know exactly what I've done. The gate that was bedding, the winds closed it and I've forgotten I didn't close it myself so the latches weren't held so they've shunted it and pushed out it. Damn it. Thankfully they just headed straight out to the grass. Uh, see what we can do, like 
getting them in. Cold bikes got a flat tire. Good start, I've called them and they're coming this way. Uh, I shouldn't have bothered because I've not got set up to get them in yet. Just shift some machinery to block some walls. Both tractors have got ploughs on them, so they're fairly long at the moment. I've got the Discovery with a trailer on it. I've got a forklift, and if needs be, I've got another trailer there. So hopefully that's enough to plug all the gaps. Rookie move, leaving a gate open. Nice one. Kev's arrived as well. He's gonna give me a hand. Block another gap. Moment of truth, are my cows trained enough on a bucket? Good, good, good. Good! Good! I want the lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. I want this empty street on the boulevard of broken dreams. Where the city Go on, Embies. Follow the grub. Good. Good. Come on. There's one tear away at the moment. Oh, Jesus. Honestly, I have nightmares about that. Cows escaping. Thankfully, they just wandered straight into a grass field and someone was here to notify me. And they came out of the field fairly easy, just a bucket of feed and give them a shout. Half of them came the first time and then half of them came the second time. Typical. Kev was at the furthest point in the furthest field in that direction. When I phoned them, I didn't actually know where the cows were or whether they were in the woods or anything, so it didn't work out too bad. They're all in and I'm away to Glasgow now. Kev's away back spreading. I'll pack this up again and continue my journey to Glasgow. Today's entertainment, escapee coos. If I hadn't have got them all in, I would have cut the footage and then said, oh, I've decided to put them out. It's so nice, the weather. Let's go. And we are here. It's starting to go dark. I hit loads of traffic. Ugh, timing was shocking. Hi there, three cattle for John Niven and son. Oh, and you said that we're coming back to yourself, right? Yeah, back to yourself, yep. Perfect, cheers. I filled out a movement form, but I think I've forgotten it left it in the office I think. He'll have one, I'll just need to fill it out. Unloaded. Done. Job done. Well, let's go home. Hopefully there's less traffic on the way back than there is on the way down. An hour and a half home. Job done. Gate lead is an expert at this. And you said you're gonna do it for me every morning and night. No chance. Oh come on. <laughs> I've done too many pet cams in my lifetime already. You've not had your fair share of pet cams. You didn't have to grow up doing this. It's not pain, look, you're so happy and contented. <laughs> Gay lady's spotless car has now got milk all over oh, the window. <laughs> Is it anywhere else? Everywhere. No, oh, just under the window <laughs> and door. Uncle Crawford, is that the new car? This is the new one, yeah. Is it a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. I have her. Uncle Crawford, what is that red part? That's the queen egg, so that's... When it's in the cow, it's in a big bag. It's in a big bag. 